Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? There are several buttons are there and we have written one one character in each button. So this is just the middle line of your keyboard. You can compare the sequence and this buttons you can click. But what you are trying to do is activate these buttons from the keyboard itself. So here I am pressing some keys here. F, G, A, J, K, L, all this key or even I can use the lowercase letters also. G, A, J, K, A, S, D, whatever I press it. And here you can see the preview of the same. So by using the keyboard also, we can activate these buttons and get the desired result. This will help us in developing some applications. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is our blank window or a blank template we are using, importing Kinter here. Then the geometry, we are specifying the width and height of the window. And inside this, we'll write our code. So you will first discuss a little bit about the layout and all. If you are already aware of how to place the button in rows and columns and labels, you can skip this part and directly focus on the what the code is. So now let's first place a button. So uh, where the first button will give it as B A because it's a button A button for the uh, character A. So we'll say T K dot button. Now. What's the my parent window? My underscore w at line number two. You can see here. Here it is our parent window. Now after this, let me just write the text. Text is here. I will say a because this cat character will match with what which button is uh, clicked. Now slightly give a uh, bigger font we are using. So 28 font size. Now width. We'll specify. Don't expand the default width. Give the width as two. So that's all. Now let me place it on a grid. B A dot grid. So this I am. This is being my first button. So I'll be using row equal to zero, equal to zero. Anyway, this is the one row we are using for our testing. And column, column is first. First column. So leftmost. So I am going for zero. And then I am not flushing it with my left edge. So pad x equal to I am giving ten. And pad y also equal to sorry. Why this pad y? Yeah, pad y is equal to ten. Now pad x, pad y, both I have given, and column is noted that column is zero. In addition to these buttons, will I'll write for the next character a, s, d, f, all those keys will write. But before that, let's just put a label because we we also want to have a like a preview what label we want to have a label what we have uh, entered, which character we have entered. So that will say l one label one equal to t k dot Label. Now my underscore w is my parent window here. Now text initially or the default text is will write a has here. Will subsequently this will be replaced to uh, this one. Now then slightly prominent to get a highlight. This one will write background as yellow. You can use anything you want. So this I am giving it here here. So then width. Uh, slightly I am going to width equal to two. Now you can increase it, but anyway, because one character only. Now, different font will use. Font will give a tuple here, so equal to now first times. Now, let me just okay here. The size is slightly higher size. I am giving twenty six, and there is no underline or anything, so I am writing normal. Okay, it's not visible here. It is so twenty six normal. So this is the font I have given. Now, let me just. Place it on a grid now, so you can see this is below the whatever the characters uh, at the top buttons I place. So it should be we have started with row zero. You can see here row equal to zero here. So next row below that, so we'll place it on a row uh, one. So grid row equal to one and column. So column will give it zero. Now slightly pad x I am giving. Pad x equal to two. Let me give pad y from the top equal to ten. Again, it's overlapping here. Pad y equal to ten. Now slightly, I'll give it uh, <coughs> column span. Also, I'll give so it let it span uh, more than uh, column span. Let me give three. That's all. So uh, one button and where we will be placing it. Not note that column zero and next row we have given. So this is the button. We can just copy this and create one more button also. I am just copying this. After a, it is the 
you can see in your keyboard layout it is the s so i am giving it s here now below that i am giving it s and uh, the what i want to write text i will change it to again s so font width 7 but note that column because it will be right of the uh, our button first button a button so column i am increase by 1 so it should be column 1 so 0 1 like that I can extend it now I will just saving this let's run up to this point and see how this looks so let's just see here here it is you can see two buttons a and s and uh, nothing will happen now this is where our preview or which key we have pressed so once we press that that particular one will appear here I am placing the other buttons here below the s now let me I just copied it multiple buttons only I am just placing for uh, covering the first line up to L uh, up to K and L I have gone here so what the change is this text part is changed added and this column is incrementally to the right of it we are writing so I am increasing it let's just run this up to this point how it is because there are certain okay here it is you can see all the buttons have come up will write to trigger the events now so here it we are below that my underscore w this is the bottom parent window i am writing this i am binding binding to what now first let me just give a any key is pressed so that event i am binding so here now let me just okay so this any key is pressed one function i want to my call back this function i have not yet written i have to write that so this anytime any key is pressed this function will be called so i am just writing it commenting it any key is pressed so this will be triggered so now another one two events are important here so one is key any key is pressed suppose i want a specific key in this case i can write it suppose if i write s here then when s is pressed this this function will be but instead of that let it put it i'll put it key so what happens any key is pressed now let me go for one more my underscore w now bind it sorry bind now for bind for what key release any key is released now let me just uh, write it here again so i will put it now key release so any key is released means when i have keep it pressed and release it moment i release it another function i want to uh, call that is my release so l e a s e so these two functions i have not yet written i have to write it i am just saving it now moving up and going to write one by one this is this part is where the actual coding will take place move up and enter our functions here so first i am writing defining the function my callback so i have to take the input as event here so now first line first what you will do will update our whatever key i have pressed that particular character will should be updated so what i am writing l1 l1 is the label what you have declared it below so l1 config by using config any attribute we can configure it so i am just using the con config or configure both are same so i am saying this here config now i'll say inside this config i am configuring the text part of it text what it should write equal to event dot car this will pick up the character uh, what is being uh, pressed now so if it because i if i am directly pressing i will get a lower case character so that's why i will press it if i am pressing the upper case character that's anything what character has been pressed that will i will get it by event car so that i am just pressing uh, leaving it there so i am just saving this i uh, just let's see how uh, how far that works here now let's see we, the whether okay i have not re related uh, written the key release so that's why the error message is coming now let me just uh, write that so tf my release my release again event now inside this i have not written so i am writing pass so let's just see whether uh, still it is fine so now i am pressing a you can see a has come now i am pressing j j has come even if this will take care of my 
upper case i press the shift so it is blank now k so upper case characters also it will take it because we have written now this my callback function we'll try to give the visual effect that the key is pressed so for that for widget this is the variable only where widget in my underscore w is my parent window now w info children so children fine so this will return me all the widget classes used in that my underscore w or in my application so that's why i'll be getting the list of it and i am looping through one by one element of this and that widget variable will hold the every element in the inside the loop so this i'll check it whether it is a button because there is a labels are also there i should not apply those functions what is not supported to the label so i'll be giving to the button i'll check it whether it's a button or not is instance is instance will check whether this uh, this belongs to that particular class or not so what i am checking with that this is the variable at the just above line we have taken that variable you can give any name there is no uh, this thing but i am checking it whether it belongs to button or not this will return me true if it is a button otherwise false so inside that now inside this if condition i will change the uh, <coughs> what i will do is i will two things i have to do we, i will change the widget uh, sorry i have to change the relief option of it so for that um, no one thing i i because i have to take care of the uh, lower case and upper case for that if if it is a button then read both the things and then apply sunken so i will say if widget now here i am reading the text of it i must identify the text what it is because it should suppose i have pressed a then the button having the text a only should act not the others if widget text equal to because it's a comparator operator is equal to event dot car so whatever i have pressed not the other button so a is pressed means a or because again another thing is it could have pressed in the upper case also so that for that i am giving a combination with that now again text sorry where i lost yeah equal to now this this is i am what i am doing uh, sorry before that let me convert it into lower if it is a upper case equal to event now car that's all now what i am doing is now let me come back here what i am doing here is i am checking matching it with the button which is have this character press other buttons i am not bothered so other buttons it will not affect so what i will do that if all these cases are true then its attributes relief attribute you can see the relief attribute l i e f relief takes all these values so this list of values are there this actually when i press the button it it goes sunken the uh, value remains sunken and when i am release it is raised so i am placing it equal to sunken understand this what happens if it is a part of the, it loops through i get a list of all the uh, wizards or the application whatever the class uh, i have used then i am checking whether it's a button or not if it is a button then what character is pressed that uh, for that button i am going through all the buttons and if the character matches with the text then that button only you do it sunken so what happens now i have just saved this up to this if you want to see you can see it also but it will remain because we are not going to use the release event we are not given in my keyboard i am pressing g so g is there now because it is a whatever i am writing it is so let me just save this lower method i have to add the brackets here okay now let's save this running again so let's just see okay here are the windows now i am pressing a now f g but you was that this is because i have not written the release event so it is remaining pressed so i have to release them that part will add let me just copy up to this point now control c and here shift i will just paste it for all the because here also i am looping through all the widgets here i am not specifying any which button to be released i am just releasing all the buttons so whatever button has come widget 
now i will say relief again relief option here the value this time i am setting it to let me just see here uh, set i am setting it to release bis raised so that's all now once this means once that this event is triggered all the buttons you raise so definitely one of us one of that button will be raised so let's just run this and see how this works so up to this point let's i am pressing j now j okay it is released now k l a s d f now let me caps lock i am switching it on let me just see d f g because that or combination we have used so it if it is lower case or upper case it will pick up next is next part we will see how will with the now you see we are using keyboard also if you add a event to this particular key this means if g is pressed then some welcome message should be printed that also we can trigger it we have already discussed about invoke you can just add that code or if you are facing any difficulties enter it in the comment section we will add that part also so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section bo below to post it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching